primary care sort of organization and sort of a system of care would be the biggest early win that we could have, in my opinion. So if you look at, you know, being able to get patients same day access for minor problems so they're not in an emergency department, if you were able to uh, get access to chronic, uh, for, you know, decompensation of chronic disease, so somebody's heart failure is going down the tubes, you know, you leave it for two weeks because the patient can't get in, and uh, then they end up in the hospital, sort of early intervention. If, if, if I were king of the world and could focus on one thing, it would be to get primary care sort of um, aligned with the hospitals. Um, I don't think there's any question that from a sort of a social agency's perspective, uh, so even you know things like housing and food, I think the uh, the uh, clean injection sites have been huge. I, I would say that you know the the one A to the one of primary care is is really mental health uh, system of care, and you know I think that. What we see right now is probably a little bit of an artifact over, you know, what was in terms of mental health care. Uh, the prevalence was a, a fraction of what it is right now. We didn't have the opioid crisis that was fueling some of the other sort of synergies there in terms of, of patients requiring hospitalization. And so the focus on ambulatory care models, so collaborative care models in primary care for uh, patients to treat patients with, uh, or physicians to treat patients with uh, depression, anxiety, early intervention in more severe mental illness, that sort of thing. I think that, that if we could restructure that entire sort of system of care, both upstream and downstream, I don't know that we'd need 100 and how many beds do we have, Julie? 110. 110. Yeah, I don't think we'd need 110 beds if, if we're able to reconfigure uh, how we deliver care.